Hello everyone! Welcome back to Reading with Leanne. Today we are going to read the book The Magic Drawing. So looking at the cover of our book we have a boy and it looks like his drawings have come to life. This book is by Mimi Zagariga and it's illustrated by Didier Bally Civic. Let's open up our books and see what this is about. We see a boy in his bedroom. Is this what your bedroom looks like? Do you have a toy horsey? A castle? Do you take off your slippers before bed? Dan loved drawing. One evening, he used his new crayons to draw a lovely picture. He drew a village with houses, people, a forest, a castle, and a horrible, scary dragon spitting flames. Then, just before Dan turned off his light, he added a little elf. Can you find the elf? It's in the drawing. In the middle of the night, oh, Dan woke up with a start. The elf from his drawing was shaking him and shouting, Dan, open your eyes, quick! The horrible, scary dragon is spinning flames everywhere. You have to help us chase him away. Get up, get up. Uh, um, I'm holding the bunny. I don't know how to fight dragons, said Dan. Come on, follow me, said the elf. A moment later, the elf was, oh my gosh, look, back in Dan's drawing. Dan hesitated, then grabbed his box of crayons and his sketchbook. Okay, here I go, he said in a worried voice and followed the elf. Dan found himself in the village with all the people. When they saw him, they all started talking at once. We need weapons, Dan, and helmets and swords. Give us the things we need to fight the dragon. Dan said, but I don't have any of those things. Then a little girl with red hair said, you drew us, Dan, so you have to help us. Look at the dragon walking out of its lair. We see the castle in the back as well. Look at the village. Dan didn't know what to do. Then he said, I think I've got an idea. He began drawing bows and arrows, axes and swords, helmets and lots of other weapons, which the elf handed out to the villagers. So look, he's handing the paper, he reaches it and it becomes a sword. It's coming to life. In the distance, they could hear the horrible, scary dragon coming closer. It was burning everything in its path. The forest was in flames. Soon, the roofs of the houses would catch fire. The little girl with red hair said, Dan, we need water to put out the flames. <gasps> Look at Dan, frantically drawing with his crayons, coloring in the feathers of the arrow. Looks like a helmet was given to a doggy, and a spear was given to the other gentleman. So what's going on? Dan drew buckets and barrels filled to the brim with water. Then he added a well in the village square. So look, they're getting buckets. The well goes deep underground. They're pulling up water. But the fire was spreading and the flames were everywhere. The elf was worried and shouted, It's not working, Dan. How do they put out fires in your world? I know, said the little boy. He drew a big red fire engine with a tall ladder and a long hose. <gasps> they climb up and look, it's turned into a pool. Water is pooling out of the windows, pooling out of the chimneys. Puff, puff, puff. The fire is gone. Nice one, Dan, cried the elf. The boy scampered up the ladder after the elf. The little girl followed him. 
Together, they held on to the hose and sprayed a big jet of water on the flames. Oh dear, I feel dizzy, said Dan. They're pretty high up. Soon the flames were out. But, uh oh, look who's watching them. The horrible, scary dragon had reached the village. It was about to destroy everything. Dan and the elf and all the villagers ran as fast as they could. Why did you put that dragon in your drawing? asked the elf. I'm really sorry, stammered Dan. I didn't think you'd be so fierce. Now that it's here, I don't know how to make it go away. Na 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 na. You see the dragon's shadow. It looks like the dragon is coming closer. <gasps> I know, said the elf. All you have to do is rub it out. So Dan rubbed the dragon with his rubber. And for those of you who don't know what that means, it means he erased the dragon with his eraser. He rubbed and rubbed, but his rubber was too small. So he rubbed and rubbed, but his eraser was too small. I've got an idea, said Dan. He filled the fire engine with white paint. Brilliant, said the elf, pulling the long hose so he could spray the horrible, scary dragon. So look, they go to the dragon. Look at his tiny eraser, it's too small. Look at this tube of white paint. Splat! At last, the dragon was gone. The villagers shouted, Hip hip hooray! For Dan and the elf. They carried the two friends on their shoulders. There was a big party, and everyone sang and cheered. When Dan got back to his room, he was worried. Now there's a big white splodge on my drawing, he whispered. Just draw something else in its place, the elf suggested. And now it's morning. Dan looked at his drawing of the village, the people, the forest, and the castle. He decided to draw a princess where the dragon had been. She had red hair that looked a bit like flames in the front. Just by the, do you see the princess with her wand? Oh, but where's our friend the little elf? Can you see him? Take a good look at the room. The end. And that is our story. The Magic Drawing. This was written by Mimi Zagariga and it was illustrated by Didier Balasevic. Thank you so much for reading along with me.